In the 1980s, when space exploration was all the rage, it looked as if in a few years' time, some of us would have left planet Earth and be living in space stations. But what would happen to the Earthlings who required surgery? Would surgeons have to travel between space stations? NASA began to develop technology so that operations could be performed by a remote-controlled robot. The fruits of this research can now be seen here in India's capital city, Delhi, at Escort's Heart Institute, where pioneering heart surgeon Dr. Narash Trahan, building on NASA's early work, helped develop a robot called ESOP. ESOP is a basically a voice command robot. Down, move in, stop. This enables us to perform surgery through small keyholes, with, with uh, consequently reducing the stress on a patient's body so that they can, the surgery becomes safer, it also, the recovery of the patient is better and they don't carry the big ugly scar in the middle of the chest. 18-year-old Namisha from Bihar in eastern India is packing her bags for a stay at Escort's heart hospital. She's waited years for heart technology to become sophisticated enough to remedy her heart defect without disfiguring her in the process. Namisha has ASD, a trial septal defect, more commonly known as a hole in the heart. My mother told me that when I was about four or five, I had a heavy cough and I was x-rayed and found to have ASD. Nimisha needs an operation to repair the defect, patching the hole with tissue from her own body. Her parents were afraid if she had open heart surgery, that the scar would prevent her from being able to find a husband. So, when we didn't want her to have open heart surgery because she's a girl. We didn't want her to have a big scar on her chest. So we talked to doctors and a lot of them said to delay the operation in case there's new technology. A new technology arrived in the form of ESOP. ESOP's robotic arm is fitted with a scope which can see into all corners of the heart through a small opening in the patient's body. There is no need to cut open right. the whole of the chest. Right, ESOP, move left, stop, move right, stop, right, right. Heart surgeon Naresh Trahan decided that Namisha was a suitable candidate for robotic surgery after examining her x-rays. This shows that there is a too much blood going through the pulmonary artery, which is going to the lungs. The hole means that some pure oxygenated blood is being pumped into her lungs rather than around her whole body. So both her heart and lungs struggle to maintain her body's oxygenated blood supply. It's the morning Namisha has been waiting for, the day of her operation. She's relieved that she'll avoid the scars she's dreaded, but she's still apprehensive. I feel okay, but I'll pray to God as well. The operation to repair the hole in Amisha's heart will take about three hours. An incision is made under her right breast to expose her heart. Another incision is made in the top of her breast so that Aesop can move right down into the chest cavity. Aesop, back. Back. The chest is a fixed structure. So there are, we are working in a, in a very tight environment. And also, it's a moving target. So it's, doesn't, it's not easy to track things down. So what the need was to say, what can we do to not only hold this instrument in a steady way, but to be able to steer it where we want it to go in this closed space. The robotic arm moves along inside the heart to locate the exact position of the defect. The surgeon can see all of this on a screen in the operating theatre. He's up. Move up. No way, minute. Move left. Stop. He's up. Move down. As soon as the defect's location is clear, the surgeon can begin to repair it. A patch of tissue is taken from the sac surrounding Namisha's heart and stitched into place to repair the hole. Namisha will be saved the massive scars that result from conventional heart surgery. So from that point of view, ESOP has actually added a great amount of safety, a great amount of precision 
to where you want to go. So you can steer it wherever and you know, if you can't see properly, you don't have to take off your eyes and start to fix this. You just tell it what to do and it does it. So it's been, it's, it's fun. Naresh Chauhan worked for most of his career at New York University Medical Center, but returned to India when he realized how desperately his expertise was needed in his home country, where the incidence of coronary heart disease is almost three times that of the Western world. With a population like ours, there would be several hundred million people in their lifetime over the next 10 years who would develop coronary artery disease, who, didn't, who had inadequate treatment. And we had no Indian methodology to study it properly, to treat it properly, and to make future strides for our own population. Trahan founded Escort's Heart Institute, which last year performed 3,800 operations as well as being at the cutting edge of research into coronary heart disease. We always thought in India that it's a disease of the West where rich diet uh, leads to it and, and hectic lifestyles and stressed out people, type A personalities, it's a domain for that. But that's not true. It affects across the board the whole population. So there, this is uh, now the new sort of epidemic that, that we are actually dealing with. It's four days since Namisha's operation, and time for Dr. Chauhan to see how his patient is recovering. After examining Namisha, he has some good news. You can go home. Another success for him and for Esau. So from space stations to planet Earth, the technology is still in its infancy, but Dr. Trahan's fantasy is that one day it will develop to the point where operations can be performed entirely by robotic remote control. Ultimately, you say the dream may be you could do it from home while having breakfast or <laughs> sitting on a beach and doing it. Move down. 